Hi, I'm Liz and I am the Project Skills Mentor. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about peer mentorship and how in the knowledge economy it's gold and three ways you can be smarter just from peer mentoring. So what is peer mentoring? Well, it's essentially two people of equal knowledge or skills, but maybe in different areas. They might be about the same topic, so they're comparing notes. They could be someone helping on a technical issue and the other person helping on a content issue. But either way, it can be covering content skills or capabilities, experience or point of view. Peer mentoring is really important to build your skills in a couple of ways. And I'm going to talk about that right now. I've created an ebook you can download and it's titled basically Ready, Set, Go because a lot of people are reticent to share information but also to ask for help. But you know what? I need help is one of the best things you can say to someone because everyone wants to be of value and everyone wants to help. So I challenge you to ask someone for help today, either online, on the phone, or in person. In this ebook I've put together, I talk about how you can grow knowledge, skills, and network through mentorship. It's a fantastic way to create a community around a topic. I myself am part of a couple of Facebook groups where we share content and community information of a specific nature. But likewise, I'm part of other more informal groups where we do the same. So I've got my notes here and I'm looking at the new ebook I've put together. And the first thing is, get ready. So you need to ask yourself some questions such as where can I find the peer group that would meet my needs? What am I looking for? Tools, skills, knowledge, experience, or something else. Where am I likely to find that? YouTube is one option. Base group is a great option, but so is Pinterest. So find your niche and it might be in more than one place. You also might need more than one kind of peer mentor. Also, what kind of skills do I need, but also what kind of help can I give? For every bartering system in the world, Skillshare is one of the most bartered systems. Apprentice master and housewife telling other housewife the best way to make sourdough. It's a great way to share information in an equitable way. And also, most of the time, free of charge. So, great way to grow your skills. And in finding your tribe, as I call it, or the people who were like you or the people who you'd like to interact with, one of the things you need to find out is, am I in the right place at the right time? So if I'm interacting with an online group, has this information already been shared? And so should I just read the blog? Or is it a new topic I can bring up? It's also good to start interacting with the group silently at first, just to see what the tone is, who the players are, and so forth, so that when you enter the conversation, you do so fluidly as part of the tribe. You're not coming in as an outsider asking off-topic questions. And also, you're building your network. You're trying to network as you build these skills. And so you're trying to be of value. So bring something of value. If you've read an on-target article, if you have a factoid to share, or if you have the answer to a question, share it. That's a great way to get known in your network. And finally, knowledge. And one of the ways to build on that knowledge is to journal. So in the last page of this ebook, I talk about journaling. It's important to keep a record of how you build that knowledge and what networks you're using, what resources you're learning. So indeed, these are the kinds of points I've raised in my journaling book. And I keep a weekly journal on this, but you might keep a daily one or a monthly one. I think daily's pretty good, weekly's pretty good. So I keep a journal on what did I learn this week? What did I share this week? Also, what references do I want to document for later? I might need to look back and see where did I learn that thing? What's the link I used? And also, who did I learn it from? What connections am I making? And what are those connections really about? So I can say, okay, I need that kind of information. That's the person I can remember that I went to. Let's see if that resource is available or maybe that network has expanded and there's some other folks that I can talk to. And finally, who do I want to connect with long-term? So that might be a Pinterest board group, finding your tribe in Tailwinds or something else. 
but keeping documentation so you can track week to week how your knowledge, network, and skills are growing is really important for you to understand your personal growth journey and also how you're growing in the wider community that you're working in. I hope you'll take this opportunity to go to the blog, check out the details, and download my e-guide today. Please let me know in the comments what you think, how you can help by giving me good feedback so I can update the document, and also joining the conversation to share maybe how you journal your information or what kind of networking you do to grow your skills. I'd very much like to hear from you, and I hope you'll join me again on ProjectSkillsMentor.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.